What is up guys, it's your boy Swalem here, back again with another Wrath of the Lich King classic video. So a couple of days ago, I think it was a little bit over a week ago now, I've made a video about what the level 70 boosted characters would look like in Wrath of the Lich King Classic, based on the level 70 templates that we have available on the Wrath of the Lich King Classic beta. So just to recap here, the gear you would get on your level 70 template characters in Wrath of the Lich King's Classics beta, you would get a lot of blue items, basically the almost best in slot, blue dungeon gear that you would get from different dungeons, you would also get several types of reputation items, which was kind of weird, like the Ring of Convalescence, which required Revered with Honor Hold. You would also get a bunch of different trinkets that also require, for example, the Lower City Prayer Book, which requires Lower City Revered. And if you're playing a tank, you would also get a shield that required the different types of reputations. So I talked about it in this video, or in that video, that this was the gear you would probably get while using the level 70 boost in Wrath of the Lich King Classic, but we have some new information that could be very, very important for this level 70 boost. So basically, the reason why I made that video was because in TBC Classic, the level 70 boost was exactly what the level 70, or the level 60, the level 58 boost, sorry, the level 58 boost in TBC Classic was exactly what the level 58 template was on that beta, so I would assume the level 70 boost would also be what the level 70 item the templates look like on the current beta. That being said, these are blue items, they're very good blue items as well, and some of them require reputations. I will talk a little bit more about that specific part later in this video, but basically we have data mined some different items in the Wrath of the Lich King uh, data files, so these are not currently in the game, but they have been data mined and they could be coming out sooner rather than later. So I'll pop those on the screen right now so you can compare them. So basically, by doing some data mining, you can find a whole new set of new collective gear that sounds kind of like communal gear, which is the level 58 boosted character gear. This is collective gear, so you have the collective crown, collective belt, collective cloak, and you have different types of armor sets for both plate, mail, leather and cloth, and the cloaks, and the rings, and basically everything in between. So these have been data mined, they are somewhere in the file and they could be coming out. They're actually in the most recent build for Wrath Classic, the 3.4.0 point whatever the F those numbers are. It's a lot of data mined items, some of them are new items for boosted characters, there's spell name changes for Warlocks, and some hints at possible items to be included in a future bundle for Wrath of the Lich King Classic. I will leave a link to that article down below so you can check it out for yourself, but basically the fact is that we might actually be looking at some green items for level 70 boosted characters instead of those dungeon blues. And I think a lot of people were kind of expecting this because, well, those dungeon blues did look a little bit too good to be true, and getting those with that level 70 boost sounded a bit too good to be true as well. So people were just waiting for this green gear to pop up, and here it is. The thing is though, these are actually not that bad green items. Like for TBC Classic, the communal gear only had main stats. So for example, if you were using leather or yeah, if you were using leather as a caster, it would only give you intellect, spirit, and stamina. This time around it gives you intellect and spirit, sometimes even stamina, but it also gives you uh, stats such as haste and most importantly, spell power. So even though these are green items, they they do give you some useful stats and they are pretty decent items. I would kind of hope and I, I would prefer the blue items though, but these are definitely better than the communal sets. Okay, so here's one question that I want to ask all of you that are watching this video, at least those of you who are still watching right now. Do you prefer the collective set, aka the green items, that have been data mined for this level 70 boost? Or do you prefer the blue dungeon gear that we have for the level 70 templates on the Wrath Classic beta? I do think there's two sides to this, like first of all, the green items makes the boost a little bit less lucrative because, well, you start off with terrible gear, so that's 
has one drawback to the boost itself, which I do think a lot of anti-boosters want the boost to be as bad as possible, but also, if you have those dungeon blues, like they will only stay with you until level 72 or 73, and they will gradually be replaced while leveling up anyway, so personally, I would definitely prefer those dungeon blues, they just have to replace the ones that require reputation, because they can't give us reputations. Imagine if the level 70 boost gave you, first of all, dungeon blues, and also one of the trinkets requires you to have the jewel crafting, so it also has to give you professions, and then also maxes out your reputations. That would be way too powerful, but it would also be one way for Blizzard to increase their revenue by just making the level, the, what? The level 70 boost too good to pass up on, so that's one thing they could do, but the fact that this collective gear has been found in the data database really kind of indicates that this is what the boosted gear will look like, and therefore I felt like I had to make this video to update you guys on what the level 70 boosted character gear will look like, since that video, uh, well it's all kind of up in the air uh, until we actually know for sure what the level 70 boost will actually look like, but in that video we did not have this information available, now we do, so that has to be said so you know what to expect from the boost itself. So just to recap a little bit about what you can expect to get from the level 70 boost, first of all you will get a level 70 character, next up you will most likely get the green items that have been data mined, you will also get four mooncloth banks if they stick with what the beta templates look like, which I do assume that they actually will, so 16 slot banks, the mooncloth banks, you get four of those, and on the beta templates right now you start out with 1000 gold or 999 gold, so you might be getting that as well with the level 70 boost, that one I'm not too sure about, maybe you get no gold whatsoever, or you might get like 1000 gold or 100 gold just to set you up for the expansion itself, you also get epic mount riding, the ground epic mount riding, and you get regular flying mount, so you can start flying already the second you buy your boost and you want to start leveling up. Also, one more kind of important thing, you start out with all of your weapon skills at 350, so if you're playing a paladin that includes axes, defense, maces, pole arms, swords, two-handed ones, and unarmed weapons, or unarmed skill. So you start out with all of the possible weapon skills at maximum skill for your current level, and then you just have to skill it up from there. Also, as of right now, it does not look like you get professions with the level 70 boost, so you have to skill up your professions manually, which I personally think is a good thing, because getting those free profession boosts with that level 70 boost would be way too powerful. Like, just imagine how many people would use that to skill up, well, for example, Inscription, which is the new profession coming in Wrath, but also Jewel Crafting and Engineering, which are pretty expensive to skill up, so if you get free professions with that boost, I do think almost everyone would go for engineering and jewel crafting. Now, if you use the level 70 boost to boost up your first character ever in Wrath Classic, you will have very little gold to your name, so if you're looking to make even more gold in Wrath of the Lich King Classic, I do have a gold making guide for Wrath Classic, with the specific purpose to help you make as much gold as possible, and if you purchase that gold making guide, it is my personal goal to just help you make as much gold as possible. That guide contains investments where you can literally multiply your gold, I am making tens of thousands of gold through those investments. It also contains the very best Wrath Gold farms. You also have which professions to choose, and how to make gold with those professions. Basically, everything you want to know about gold making in one document that is 93 pages long. So if you're looking to know more about, more about gold making, check out that gold guide through the link down below, and by purchasing this gold guide you also get access to an exclusive gold making discord for Wrath Classic with even more gold gold making information, and a whole community about gold making, so check that out through the link down below and use the code SOLHEIM to get it for half price. That is pretty much it for today though, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like down below and subscribe for more Wrath content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.